Okay, let's try it. I'll, I'll probably go quick. But uh, does anyone have a recommendation for an allied clan? Just something that might be half decent for this class? Instead of going random? Umbra for allied? Random? All right, let's just let's just go random. We'll keep the covenant rank. I'm not too concerned about that. Am I? Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Let's do covenant disabled just to learn this. Just to learn this one. And we're going to go fast. Okay, Seraph. So, first spell card played each turn gets consumed. That has messed me up in the past. Yep. Let's see our champion. So, we have uh, Awoken. So, what's this deal? Burnout of three. Counts down every turn. When burnout runs out, the unit dies. Resolve. After combat, return a defeated friendly unit to your hand. Enhance with burnout one. Okay. So, you're like pulling from your graveyard? Burnout counts down every turn. When burnout runs out, the unit dies. Yeah, okay. That's gonna be weird. That's gonna be weird. Return a defeated friendly unit to your hand. Enhance it with burnout 1. Plus 5, plus 5, and 0 cost. Well... These guys are going to get defeated pretty easily. If I go here, this is cool and all, but unless I have a way to bring him back, then he's just useless after three rounds. Right? The way I read this? Okay. I'm going to try it. You play a spell. Oh, this is really nice. This is good too, but this is really helpful. It doesn't help us immediately, but it'll help us later when we get other spells. So this clan of the candles went to revolt after the Disney movie? What was that? Uh, was Beauty and the Beast? I think so. Lumiere. Okay, 10 armor. I mean... These guys hit pretty hard, but this guy does four, which kills these guys in one shot, so. We have the train stewards, though. Let's see. Don't spoil anything. Don't spoil any, like, I, I want to I try this to just see how it goes. I kind of feel like putting this guy on, like, a higher level. Uh, this is going to be hard to get through, isn't it? Just so we can keep him alive for longer, you know? Oh, and Drake's only cost one. Or take up one spot, I should say. In a way, I think maybe what I should be doing is like sacrificing these dudes. So that uh, we get them to come back a little bit stronger. Yeah, this is this is weird. This is very bizarre. Okay, so he's gonna die. Fine. Um, okay. <laughs> I like their noises. They said it sounds very familiar.
Okay, let me just slow this down a second here. Okay, so this comes back. Hold on a second. Hold on. So, wait, when you play these guys, they got Burnout 2. Wait a sec. Enhance with Burnout 1. So it's actually getting now Burnout... I thought it was going to come back with like a one-turn use. Oh, this is interesting. So the more we can sacrifice these guys... And do they stay in our hand? It looks like they stay in our hand getting stronger and stronger. Yo. I don't know if I have that correct yet, but let's try it. Now he does he only returns he only returns the one card. Burnout three there. Uh, I mean, this doesn't matter, I don't think. Does that regen help us between these? No, because they're only at eight, so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> so I think with the, with the dregs, we want to feed them. And if we can feed them in a way that, like we're not feeding a bunch of them at a time, then we know that the one that keeps coming back just keeps getting stronger, maybe? Okay, Hallow Drippings, consume, apply Burnout 3 to friendly Burnout units. So this is like giving them extra turns now, right? So we kind of need that. This has Burnout 1 and Multi-Strike, but if you kill it and then bring it back, it's really strong. Deal 35 damage to the front enemy unit. Triggers on death. I'm going to try this. Okay. Uh, Glimmer, yes. Glimmer, yes. Now, okay, it's interesting because you do want like a, you do want tank generally, but if you have this tanky guy, then he's not killing your other units. So like this is good for when you're playing like middle of the battle, I guess. The paraffin thug seems kind of cool. Friendly burnout units gain burnout one. Man, this is trippy. He still hits for fifteen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this dude. The Awoken unit could still um, get buffed, I guess. I want to I want to pick a remnant unit because I want to learn more about these guys. Harvest. When a unit dies, gain five. Okay, so I'm seeing some gold stuff here. Lady of the House. Burn out of three, 25, and 40. But I almost feel if you go too many cards that you're not going to be able to bring back the ones that you want. I'm going to take this. Saw Northern Lion do this deck and kept sacrificing his thug. Want to see him get some real slays. Which one's the... Uh... Oh, this? Well, yeah, why would you sacrifice that? You Well, you wouldn't want to. Remove, consume. That helps. <laughs> Glimmer buff. Okay. Oh, we misread Slay as Sacrifice. Oh, okay. That happens. I misread shit all the time. Okay. Spikes. I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna do Spikes. I guess, like, we do want people dying. I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it. Okay, I'm going to put you up top. That seems to kind of be working. Burnout 
burnout of one. So this guy's going to die regardless. And this should slay this one, so we should get gold there, right? Okay. There's slay, there's gold. This one's gone. So we have this dude in. Now if he gets if he comes out with burnout two. I guess these do reset. It looks like the dregs do reset, right? This doesn't get applied for the whole time. The whole deck. That'd be sick though. I'm going to put this here so that we bring this one back with the buff. I like this that it shows you that they're going to expire too. That's very helpful. If I play these guys any higher, they're going to burn out for sure before I can even use them. So there's this guy back. We're, get, we're getting gold. So he's got a burnout of two now. We should put him on the same one as this lady of the house. With multi-strike. These two are both going to be gone. We're going to bring back this dreg. Sure. And then when he's up here, the extra... Well, I... Actually, triggers after combat. So on the boss, does this trigger multiple times? I don't think so. Man, the, yeah, the creativity in this game is insane. All these mechanics are very, very cool. Like very, very cool. I don't know if this is going to be very good. This is going to take me some time to wrap my head around like what I feel is a decent strategy. But I don't feel very good about it at all. Each turn of combat in boss is one burnout. See, that's another thing too. So, But I wonder like, if this boss would go on for multiple times. I guess what I was getting at is after each round of the boss, are you bringing back a card from uh, your champion? Reform a unit. So we can actually pick which one we bring back then. Restore 10 health and apply Burnout 2 to friendly unit. This doesn't really help us. I love this card, but it doesn't help us. I think we'll take... Uh, Vine Grasp. It's targeted damage. This one hurts my brain, you guys. Okay, it's like working triple overtime right now triple overtime okay let's go uh, this way permafrosts nothing on stuff that we have right now 22 22 I'll take that 
to watch your Death Stranding videos over the past week. Love them so much. Thanks, dude. That was, I really enjoyed that game. Add sting spells. So if this guy can last a long time, then you can spam these and they keep coming back. But you'd have to have a really small deck. Deck! I said deck. This dude's kind of nice. Really had a lot of story making as a stream game. It's like a bunch of people were journeying with you. Yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> Do we want to copy something five times? Or did you copy something once? Do you guys have any advice on this? I have no idea. I don't know what would be good here. Like, I guess I could copy this dude. I guess we could copy Glimmer. It's a shitload of damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. It is. I, I don't understand this riddle, by the way. We've gotten that, I think, three times now, maybe four, in all of our runs. And uh, every single time, it's just duplicated the card. There's been, like, no unusual side effects. Just flavor text? Yeah, but the flavor text leads you to believe... I mean, to deal one damage to the front unit on death. It leads you to believe that uh, something weird could happen. And I wish that it would. I think that would be way cooler. I get that there's situations where you definitely don't want to do... Um, where you don't want to do... Uh, where you don't want to have five copies. This is not great at all. Because these dudes would all kill him. These are going to go down to three attack each. We can get some gold there, I guess. This is not a great hand. I can't really do anything with it. Oh, yeah, I guess I should have actually killed him. Yeah, that's right. I should have just let him die. <laughs> Jeez. And then we bring it back. Yeah, it's weird. It's going to take me a bit. This glimmer is uh, pretty, pretty strong. Maybe should have played the quick card there. What days and time do I stream? Uh, my streams are very rare. But uh, my aim is to stream Saturday, Sunday. At 12 Eastern. Put this dude up top. Ooh. Not a single melting remnant. <laughs> this is such a weird... This is a... I don't know. I don't even know how to feel. That's nice. Ooh, that's nice.
feel burnout, maybe? It, uh, yeah, mentally, actually, I am. I am getting burnt out. There's a, a lot to process. Definitely. All right, well. We're doing it, but there's no... Re I'm not really, like... Uh, I don't feel like I'm confident in, in what I'm doing yet. Like, endless. So, this actually... Doesn't that kind of... I guess once the thing has been resurrected a couple of times, then you apply endless to it. And some a card like this, where it's this guy... Could be quite nice. Return a random defeated unit to your hand. Enhance it with plus 40 attack. Holy crap. Or channel song. I'm going to try this just to go something different. Here's a sweep. Small sweep, but it can get pretty strong. Let's try it. I need to get some more expensive spells. That's what I really need in our life here. So that we can use the uh, the anvil. Okay, duplicate, remnant units, vortex. I am gonna I am gonna vortex here to um, just clean up the deck a bit so it's a little bit more focused so I can learn it. Okay, so this could bring back two random units or on harvest. Now this this harvest actually happens with our own units too, right? So if we just feed our own units, that ain't bad. This guy could get insanely strong. But for what? To what end? To what end? I guess with the awoken you could heal him. Takes a bunch of damage, he becomes your tank, essentially. I think we're going to go here, though. Let's bring back more units. Regen resource plus one health. 50% chance to apply dazed. Let's go there. I'm using him on the top floor now, but with that, I would be more inclined to use him elsewhere, you know? You make a series of a game and call it oddly satisfying? What game? How about Odds World Odyssey? How about that? And actually, Dazed? Maybe that's not even a good one for these guys, because you kind of want your dudes to die. You know? Let's get him killed. Your dudes die from burnout. Yeah, that too, but... Oh, frick. That's fine. He'll still die on the next floor. I did it again! Damn it! I ruined it. Now I have to put this here to kill him. <laughs> you blew it. Oh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Watch this run go absolutely perfectly.
How much damage are we dealing up here? Enough. He'll die. That one will die. We need to get... I think I need to get more units dying earlier. And I'm not sure, like, I think my mentality is to try to, like, backfill these guys so that they can get all of their turns in. Okay, so we're going to have a boss. Uh... Hmm. I guess this guy being endless isn't bad. 1913. And then well, I guess we'll play all these other dudes. Now I think about it, an endless champ would be good. Well, uh, yeah, endless champ would be good. Be really good. What I like about this is most of the cards, most of the cards, are um, only one slot. So you're kind of free to play them as often as you can. These dudes are going to go. The faster they die, the better so you power up by the boss. Yeah. But there's something to be said for like having some DPS as well. That noise, man. What game? That's got to be, like, something that we've heard before. That little zombie noise. Maybe, uh, what's the one with Deacon St. John? The motorcycle one? Jeez. Day's gone. Maybe that's the zombie sound I'm hearing. Okay, Stealth 2. Wow, we finally get stealth. Are you serious? Now that is cool. Reform a unit and enhance it. Consume and reform two randoms. Let's take the sacred wicks. Draw one, enhance the drawn card to cause zero. Let's do a draw of three. Man, I honestly don't even know, like, what I would duplicate here. So, I could Vortex, but we don't need the healing. I think we'll go this side. Multi-strike of one. If I give it to him, I like where this card's going. Or if I give it to this dude, that's a lot of potential gold. Especially if I can get some health. I can give him endless, but is that really good? Because the enemy attacks first. If I could get him, like, the first strike, that would be really nice. I guess I just make this dude endless now. And I'll give him extra attack here. Okay. 
And then that way, when we... I th There's a unit upgrade, I believe, where you can get first strike, no? Maybe you can only get it from a card. Doesn't making him endless negate the reform? Uh, It does, but I don't think he's a unit you're going to reform anyways, because you're going to have him in slay positions. So if you have him in slay positions, he's going to be in the back. Uh, whereas if I can get him, like, first strike, then there's a pretty good chance he gets a lot more gold, I think. Yeah, quick. Upgrade a unit with plus 25 health. When your pyre kills a unit, restore 5 pyre health. Or friendly units get plus 10 and heartless cannot be healed. Is that good? It's weird because, in a way, you're not getting a lot of healing from these anyways. And you kind of want them to die, but then they get tankier, so they're not going to die. <laughs> this one, I guess, is okay. What unit could I give 25 to? What if I give it to him? Or even our... Uh... Our multi-strike thug dude. Does this take an upgrade slot? Yeah, see, you can apply it to people with three, so I don't think it takes that upgrade slot. Uh, maybe it does if the slot is open. Yeah, I think that's what happens. Hmm... Let's do this. Because this way he can, like, tank and attack, do a double strike, and then when he dies, we just keep playing him. I don't know if that's good. As is, as is the theme with every single card that shows up right now. Spikes on uh, Lady of the House might be okay. The thing is, I think with this deck too, if you have those guys earning you gold on Slay, uh, we should probably try to spend as much of it as possible. Hey, okay, units on each floor. Let's not. Let's not. Let's just let's just see if we can get all the way through this. There's the thug. I can't even sacrifice a train steward. Yeah, I think early I'm I'm definitely misplaying these guys like if this guy dies, I'm actually fine if he comes back stronger. You know, like, maybe I should let him die. Let this one die. Yeah, let's let that one die. Let's just let that one die, okay? Okay. Do I even want to play a train steward? No. We get that quick attack off. Oh, wait a sec. Why didn't she come back? Oh, right, because this triggers after combat. Would she come back on the next one? Or can we only bring these types of cards back?
Champ level resolve first. Oh yeah, right. Right, right, right. 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 Okay. So it'll come back next, though. Actually, we might get this dreg. Oh no, we won't, because this will resolve first, and we'll get that card. Okay. Let's get extra draw here. Reform two random units doesn't really help. Combat resolves from top to bottom. Yeah, I got. I forgot that he uh, that triggered at that point. Holy shit! Holy shit! It's a burnout of one though. <laughs> so if it's coming in, it might as well come in and do some damage to this guy. Okay, so that drag's coming back. There's no healing to do. Let him kill this one. Whatever, we'll just put all these guys in. Endless seems to stop the champ from reforming it. Yeah, it does. That's not the card I'm talking about, though. This isn't the card I was talking about. This card I'm fine with not reforming because it's already really strong with the way that we set it up. So 4 by 5 so he's going to do 20. Let's put him in front here. Fly endless again. Maybe our gold bro. Let's bring this one back with burnout two now. So I think I think we really want to have like a super super thin deck. The thinner the better. So that we're reforming the same card, like, multiple times. Uh, putting him in front, I guess, doesn't really help. Oh, whoops. Did that cast somewhere weird? What's up, Grab Riffy? I mean, I can't even play anything. This is going to hurt. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <gasps> Yikes. You just won your first run. Congrats. I'm going through my first run with the last faction right now, so this might be spoilery for you, but... Uh... I think I'm going to skip this. That was a little too close. I'm going to skip these two. That was a little too close. Three seventy. Let's get rid of the uh, train stewards here. You could argue that these are similar to the dregs, though. But well, I guess they get the dregs get the plus one, and they already have the base of two, so maybe not. 50% chance to remove all buff effects when an enemy unit, when it enters your train or your pyre gets health. <laughs> I kind of have to take that right now. 
Two damage when it moves between floors. Consume. Deal 30 damage to the front enemy unit. Or magic power, which would be helpful with our glimmers. All of our glimmer damage. Not sure if it's getting worse or better. I think it's getting worse. Okay, they have multi-strike. Fell empowers units with rage as well. Cool. What's my favorite clan so far? Uh, I was getting the hang of Umbra. That felt pretty good. I mean, the first the first couple clans I feel the most comfortable with, obviously. Okay, these guys attack two per turn. Uh, which doesn't matter until they get buffed by her. I guess I can give this guy Endless. But he's not going to do anything. Maybe I could... Well, I could put him up here. And then as the weaker units come up, he can slay them. Oh, actually, we should just Glimmer here, I think. Okay. And then that's right. We forgot about the split anvil. Endless on champion? I don't... Can you do that? Can you target your champion with this? Maybe you can. Okay, this one's gonna die. We apply quick. That's really only going to benefit the... Uh, really only going to deal with this, but not even kill it. We'll do like so. Okay, you can do it? Yeah. I think I know that, but... I'm burning out. Okay, so we will bring back a dreg here. Get this guy in. He's going to get extra armor if I cast this. But we'd still do 15 damage to him. Let's do it. Hopefully, you're creating new math methods. Okay, Einstein, simmer down. Da Vinci. Uh, no, you're right on time. We just started the stream, so you're totally on time. No, no problem at all. I'm going to put this guy up here to uh, do boss damage. This class is not clicking with me at all. Even though we're 
we're doing pretty well. It's mostly because these glimmers are doing so much damage. I think I'm going to get the most use out of her down here. Burn out of one. I'm interested after uh, after trying this a couple times to see like what clicks because I don't think I'm scratching the surface here. My face is all blurry. Yeah, it just goes in and out sometimes. No worries. It's back in now, right? You can see my lovely mug. Ooh, a hydrate. Thanks, man. Okay. I want to throw all these hard hitters in the back, I guess. Let's do uh, some healing there. Actually, it doesn't really matter with the mount he does. Wow. Okay. Dex, man. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. I haven't been streaming much, so don't worry about not being here. No worries, man. No worries. Return a defeated or random defeated unit to your hand. Enhance it with plus 40. Let's try this, dude. Now, where am I stuck? I'm not really stuck on casting things. Let's take more space. I appreciate you, Gex. Thanks, man. I really do. No sweat. Okay. We've gotten rid of our train stewards. Uh... I don't have Pyre Health as an option, but I do have artifacts. <laughs> I do have artifacts. Let's go there. Sting spells don't have any. 50% chance to swap front and back units. Okay. Upgrade a unit with quick. This could be a gold maker right here. It could be a gold maker. If I go 5 and 10 here. It's 8 and 20. That sleigh could build. Maybe I go here too. Why not? See ya, Sarah. Tell the puppy we said hi. Hey, Tootie. Okay, so now we get three random units. Or we get two and the harvest. But we become a lot tankier here, too. There's times where I'm not even pulling these cards out. So maybe I'm better off. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this one. I have to see if I want to vortex anything here. You know what? Uh, I am going to vortex two of my basic heals. Yeah, we're on the last... We're on the new champion, yes. What's up, Zuki? Spell shield of two. Uh, that could be a problem. Because our glimmer damage is pretty important. Let's just let's just try and win it. Okay. We already have one sleigh there. So this dies, this dies. So we're going to get plus 10 there. All right. 
All right. Put this one up top, get double gold. I'll need to put somebody in front of it. Uh, we could kill this one off. Make it even stronger when it returns. I think we'll put the Animus in. Not quite low enough, but we could probably kill the next one. Yes, yes, yes. So we're getting gold here. The system is kind of happening. Got the spike, so we should let those happen. Return a defeated unit. Don't have one right now. That kind of sucks. So now we'll get more gold off the kill of this one when it goes up. Bring you to the front. The endless the champ, does he keep the health he's gained? Don't know. Don't know. We could try it when it comes up. Let that one go. Get another kill there. He dies. 19 on this one. With quick and multi-strike, that's 40. So we, we're one short of killing this dude. Okay, good. Good. I guess I don't want to consume that yet. Okay, now this deck's getting pretty pretty nutty. It's getting pretty nutty. 58 health. Good. We didn't get the endless card, but we'll try it. So this is gone. Minus 44 is good. So this one dies to the gold. Man, this dude's actually... This is where he belongs. We have some sick upgrades on him. But, uh... Yeah, he's like just cleaning house up here. Which is working out pretty well for us, I would say. Oh, you know what? I should have formless childed there. But I didn't. I'll let this one go. Can't even, I can't even get this guy killed. You think this deck might be absolute? Like, trash? It's working. It is working. All right, let's bring him in. Okay, so boss comes in. He's going to die. We'll see what happens. So he's at 80 health right now. 80 health. He actually is taking less damage there. 
I put this in, he's taking less damage. Is that because... Something to do with his uh, revenge there? Unless I saw it incorrectly, but... Yeah, see, he's doing less because the damage I'm dealing, he's killing our guys faster. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. That's always a tricky one. It does keep it. It does keep it. Wow. Oh, I wish I could get this one killed. Is there even a point in me playing this? I should save the slot because I'm not going to be able to kill it. Right? If I glimmer here... It's 25 damage, but I feel like... I don't know if it matters. Because he one-shots all these guys anyway. Except for this one, right? And as long as we're under a multiple here, then it's fine. What's 20... What's 27 times 3? 80, uh, 27 times 3. 81? Yeah, okay. We're at minus 200. Sweep doesn't matter. We just need the highest hitting. So, yeah, okay. Well, unless I can do both. No, this should be fine. Woo! Just. Just. Oh, and the sleigh. <laughs> and who got the sleigh? That's funny. That's funny. Okay. Apply stealth to friendly units. I don't know. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to 10 times the number of friendly unit deaths this battle. Whoa. And then plus three. This would be really good later. This would be good. This would be good. Plus, plus anvil. It helps us there too. Uh, I'm having a trouble filling the floors anyways. I'm having trouble filling the floors. Let's see. Maybe. Okie dokie. I guess we have to go Pyre Health, right? Who's our boss again? Devouring Spells. Which actually is okay. So the first one that we cast is going to have Consume. So we can still lay down these Glimmers and these Restores. These are the ones we just ditch. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I think instead of vortexing, we just keep them and use them as fodder. What spells are going to be badass? Ooh, holdover. Come on, baby. Maybe I just get this. Maybe I just get Memento Mori with holdover. And I upgrade it to minus one. And I could duplicate it. Any victories today? Yeah, we're 1-1. One, one. Yeah, 1-1. One one. Uh, this is a tough call, though. I think this is a tough call. Because I have to be able to play this every time for Holdover to be good. And if I have to cast a bunch of other dudes, it might not happen. But that's a shitload of damage, especially at a boss. But again, the boss, depending on if there's things in front... 
Oh, but it's unit deaths this battle. So that's going to stack like heavily. Yeah, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Let's make it cheaper. And then I think we still have a trinket shop. So I'm going to duplicate uh, this one. 315. Summon a second unit, gain three energy. That would be quite good here. First time each turn a friendly unit's healed, draw one. Or grant three stacks of burnout each time it's applied. <laughs> uh, that gets pretty crazy. That gets pretty crazy. I just don't know if I value the energy more because it's so easy to cast to summon two units. Especially with our champion just bringing two units back, right? You can re-roll to restock the shops. Yeah, we do that like almost every shop when we have money. Um, the, the nice thing about this is that your units stick around for longer. They don't die like naturally. Does that screw over this guy? So you'd have burnout of four. Still good, because if he dies, then he still comes back. But the energy lets me make sure that every turn that this comes up, I can play it. No matter what. I'm gonna I'm gonna Is this too all in on this on these two cards? As if the boss is somebody in front of him. Hmm. Because this costs me two every time I want to play it, right? And I do want to play it often so we know that, was, that it's coming up. Okay. Okay. Decision's been made. I might as well give something magic power here. Uh. Send a unit for free. Uh, actually, this lets me play other units with the anvil. Let's do 16 direct damage. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, that's right. The consume is gonna is gonna change things with that. That's right. Because our first spell each turn has consume. So Okay. Let's see what happens. Wish me luck, chat. I'm gonna need it. Well, we'd already get to harvest here a bit. And we'll feed some dregs. I'll actually put him here to hit the boss. Okay. That's one of our glimmers down. Now, I'm not so concerned about this guy uh, making gold here. I, I don't care about making gold now. This is some good sweep damage. Sweep kills. I can sacrifice this dude as well. Or actually, why don't I get this dude killed? Why don't I get this dude killed? Oh, 
Oh, he's not going to get killed now. Because of, uh... No, wait. Oh, right. He's got quick as well. I forgot that he had quick. I forgot that he had that, you guys. All right, fine. Well, this dreg... This dreg can uh, come back even stronger. Do I want to consume this now? Hmm... Maybe not. I'll do this one to just clean up the deck a bit. Okay, good. Some big, strong, beefy boys coming in. I like it. This one can die. That's fine. I'm good with it. Eighty-six there. We don't have the pyre heal deal. I could descend this unit and start filling this. That's the only time I'm going to descend, really. So, why not? Why not toss her down? Hope for the best. I'm going to save. Uh, I'm going to save these for like emergency scenarios. Let this guy die. Uh, this dude's not going to kill. So let's put these guys up top to hit the boss a bit. And I'm going to get rid of another one of these, I think. And we'll save the glimmers. You can cast them now. Consumes are gone. Well, the first one, the first every hand gets consumed. So now this dude's coming back stronger. I could sacrifice him again. No, I couldn't. Because he'll kill these guys. I'll put him in... F oh, I can't. We're too, we're too packed. We're too packed. Here's the uh, memento. So we're going to deal 63... Okay, what if I play Glimmer here? That kills these. One Glimmer's gone, but then I get to deal a shitload to this guy. And then I'll get to play this on our uh, on our champion. Does that work? Sure, why not? It sucks I can't play this guy now, but it could be worse. Uh, I kind of need to kill up here, I guess. And I'm going to clean this out as well. Oh, yeah, this one doesn't get clean now. Let's just use it. Okie dokie. What do I want to consume? So, does... Does consume override... Hold over? Because these cards are like contradictory, right? So how do you know which one actually works? I know I can cast another card to like do it. I'd probably have to cast Consume. Consume will kill it. Okay. Good. Uh, I'm just going to cast this one. We're bringing two units back already. I don't have any cards to reform. Fine. Oh, that was not the floor to cast it on. <laughs> that was not the floor to cast it on. Uh, let's get this drag killed. See if we can get this guy killed one more time. This dude's going to burn out. We'll put this guy in to get the dude that's ascending. Okay. 
Okay, dead, dead. Now, here's another scenario where I think we glimmer. And then... Uh, you know what I should have done? I should have considered leaving one of these at cost of three. So we could cast it and then cast the second one if we were ever in this scenario. Um, I do get more Ember, though. If I can bring two units out. So... So how can I make this happen? How could I cast both on the boss here? If I glimmered, I'm down to two Ember. These are both dead. This guy's open. Yeah, and then I cast the Dreg and this guy. That takes me down to zero Ember. No, I can't. I can't. I can't pull that off, I don't think. Okay, hold on. Uh... Frick. That will consume it, though. I was thinking play this first and then play the Glimmer. I'll maybe not get too fancy here. I just play this one. I'm down to two. If I played these two, that would get me three... Oh, no. Wouldn't that work? Oh, yeah, right. But I could still only cast one. I could still only cast one. Oh. So, whatever. We'll do it this way. And then let's deal more damage here. Oh, damn. Ah. Oops. I feel like we're in a good spot still, regardless. This guy's gonna go. We can sacrifice this one. Ah, oh, no! Son of a bitch. I'll, I'll get rid of another one of these. Maybe two. Oh no, just the one. But I can't kill this dude. So I have to use this to kill him. I can't get it onto the boss. Okay. I do want to play it, though. This one's burning out now. That's boss damage. And actually, if we kill him... Whew. Should he use the wicks for the consume? Because it already had consume? I actually don't think that cancels it. I think I've tried that before. And I don't think that that removes it. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You're all saying it does. Okay, then I'm wrong. Okay. 
I thought I had tried that in the past and it didn't work, but I guess not. Where is the boss going to be exposed? Just get rid of that. Burn out of five. I should have played it there. That's right. Okay. I think we're still going to win. But holy smokes, is this a mind melter? You had multiple opportunities in battle to do that? Yeah, well, but I explained why I didn't do it. Let's consume this one. This endless on this champion is actually really cool. Great success either way. I wish that I I wish a lot more of the mechanics kind of sunk in though, because there's still a lot where I'm like, you know, processing is is hard, hard times. But we went positive today, two and one. We didn't do this on any covenant ranks, so you know that's only going to get way more difficult. But I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I'm happy. Piercing, dealing 5 damage, slay increased damage by 3 permanently. Yeah, I could see value in this. You have to get this early, though. You have to get this, like, really early. When you play a unit, a random card in the hand is reduced to 0. That's nice. Remove all debuff effects from friendly units and all buff effects from friendly units. Oh, from enemy units. Okay. Extinguish abilities trigger an additional time. Not bad. Not bad. RG, thanks, man. I appreciate the 24 months. That's insane. Thank you, dude. Here's the uh, run summary if you guys are interested. <clears throat> Included wound magic. All right. Guys, thank you so much. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh... Here's our run history. What's our overall winning percentage? So out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 battles, we've won 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're almost 50%. I feel like that's not bad.